So for those of you who haven't noticed by the extreme amounts of poor quality videos located within this channel, I'm a huge fan of the Dawn of War series of games. I played the ever-living shit out of the first Dawn of War game after being introduced to it by a friend, and proceeded to become a huge fan of two of its expansions. We don't talk about the third. No! Borealum! So it was to great delight that, five years since the last expansion for Dawn of War 2 came out, a third game in the series was announced, after a lot of uncertainty of whether or not it would even be made, with THQ being defunct and Relic now being a Sega company. It was announced with an absolutely badass cinematic trailer that just left all of us wanting more and looking forward to the grim darkness of the 41st millennium. Then the gameplay trailer came out. The fuck was this? I did a bunch of research and learned that literally nothing that we saw in that demo is going to be in the final game. Every single animation was placeholder. The frame rate was an accident. There were more Imperial Knights, apparently, that they didn't show us. A hell of a lot more units. Better base building, proper maps, and obviously, the squads aren't supposed to be as squishy as they were shown in the trailer. Which just begs the question, WHY DID YOU SHOW US THIS TRAILER?! More time passed, and we got a proper narrated playthrough of the demo mission that contained disclaimer after disclaimer. Points will not work like this in the final game. There'll be more points in the final game. The map is for demo purposes only. This mission is for demo purposes only. The Eldar are squished down for demo purposes only. The hero units are given at the start for demo purposes only. The base building is placeholder. The animations are placeholder. The whole map is placeholder. And yet, very little of this is actually portrayed in the video with most of it having to be found elsewhere. What? Look, I get that you guys are trying to do your job here, but what is this? I know better, and I know the final game will probably be badass and everything that I'm waiting for, but why should I have to look around to find this stuff? I have to find community-made videos that you guys are sharing on Facebook or that I get linked by friends. All these contain massive amounts of info, clearing up a lot of the problems, but it still leaves us some, which I have to resolve by finding obscure Facebook comment replies from you, Relic. This info should be public. This shit shouldn't be obscure and hard to find. It should be on your channel. It should be on your web page. Let's start with the most notable point. Solaria, the Imperial Knight. She has two Gatling guns and is referred to time and time again as the Imperial Knight. Say hello to Lady Solaria, our Imperial Knight. Imperial Knight, Imperial Knight, Imperial Knight. So you get one knight with twin Gatlings and that's your lot? Well, as it turns out, no it isn't. Multiple comment replies on Facebook from Relic state otherwise, but why are these comment replies and not public information? They state that knights will have multiple variants and not be limited to merely Solaria. So why tout around like she's the only knight? I want this knight! Let also mention that a lot of fans are confused because you have shown nothing but dumbed-down gameplay of the Space Marines. We want to see genuine progress from the other factions too. For example, you show the Eldar! Why can't you showcase them from a gameplay standpoint? Show us what they can do when they aren't being dumbed down for demo purposes. Show a proper Space Marine versus Eldar match with proper balancing, not placeholder. This isn't me saying to rush development. I'm saying if you guys already have the balancing in place, why dumb it down for a demo? So a guy who refers to fucking Space Marines as line units can play it? This is building in space and dropping more line units. That, and I want to see the Eldar in action. I want my warp spiders. I love warp spiders. Also, let me point out the footage you're seeing right now is from a community video unrelated to Relic. I should not have to reference community videos to get proper content. Also, is that a proper map he's playing on? With a proper match? Why was this not your gameplay demo? So the next obvious point comes up that it's all they can get out. Why bother? I think they actually caused more harm to their game than good by showing incomplete footage that was in no way ready to be shown to the public. Who authorized it? Was Sega kicking your ass and saying to get gameplay footage out for E3 or else? And if it was you, Sega, shame on you! Seriously, 
Wait for Gamescom. Wait until next year. I don't care. Just don't shove incomplete footage out the door because doing nothing and instead waiting until you could have shown us this proper map would have been better. So I'm done complaining about how they shoved incomplete bullshit out the door. Now let me complain about one more thing real quick here. The animation! Can I just point out how cartoony the animation is? Everyone agrees. Whether you're looking forward to the game or not, you can agree the animation is very much not 40k. I understand that from a detail standpoint, since the camera is zoomed so far out and the maps are so much bigger, you need to have more movement to really show anything. However, I feel like this is too far. As a friend of mine put it, the whole game looks like it's in fast forward. And of course, we still need sync kills and Paul Dobson. Who's this trash? I'm on my way, but it's just me. Don't be reckless, wait for backup. There's no time. Sorry for calling you trash. We've just gotten used to Paul Dobson as Gabriel fucking Angelos and seeing how he voiced the guy in every other Dawn of War game and expansion. By my hand, Cyrene burned. Cyrene's secrets now live solely with me. And so shall they die with me. I want to end this on good points, but I really can't. Relic, fix your shit. Just when I thought you were finally turning around, you referred to assault marine armor as light. Assault marines! Light armor! No! No! It's power armor, you fuckwits! This shit is not in me with the goddamn slugger boys that get their shit wrecked! Those have light armor! This does not have light armor! Relic backpedaled so fast with the backlash they got that it was amusing. Whoever's in charge of marketing just needs to be fired at this point. Look, I'm going to be completely real now. I'm massively looking forward to this game. I think it's going to be able to go head-to-head -head with a modded Dawn of War 1, running the Ultimate Apocalypse mod if they pull it off right. But the stuff Relic is showing the community is making them turn tail. You have a good game here, a potentially legendary game. So you need to show us the legendary bits. No more rushing footage out the door. If you don't have something proper ready to show, just don't, please. Wait on it, or be more clear about what's placeholder and what isn't rather than requiring us to dig around to find answers and leaving most of the community to assume it's final software. Let's turn this into the Dawn of War game we really want. Eh? Give us something good. We'll all be waiting.